Well, if you've played much Lynx golf, you'll realize that Lynx bunkers offer unique sets of circumstances, different from inland. So there's a couple of things we've got to do. If we ever lose the loft or we get the face from being lofted here back to more square or de-lofted, the club's just going to dig in. It's just not going to work very well. So critical to the club exiting the sand comfortably, uh, we need to maintain the loft in the backswing. So that's number one. Number two, because it's heavy, even though powdery, you've got to maintain speed. There's an advantage to that. First off, uh, it's going to explode the ball faster, it's going to overcome the resistance to sand, and you're going to get more spin on it, hopefully more control when you're striking it well. The basic setup would be ball off my left heel, a lot of aggressive weight to the left side. Feels to me 60-65% left, and I'm going to maintain it there all the way through. So easy for me to say keep the loft there, but how do we do that? Well the sand's going to help us. This practice situation is a tiny bit of moistness in this sand here. I'm just going to squeeze a bit on the club face. So I'll demonstrate it this way. If I was to maintain the loft and it feels to me like I'm going to set the club up and open the face or add even more loft going back, the sand's going to drop behind my right shoulder that way. And that feels as if I'm really going wild with it. If I go back to my normal takeaway where the face gets quite square, that sand's going to fall off straight away on this side. So I want the sand to come off behind me and that feels lofted but I've maintained the whole thing. So that's number one. I've got to get that feeling of loft in the backswing. Shaft's pretty vertical. Don't need much lean on that, as really fairly straight up and down. Not keen on it backwards, but if there's a lean, it's absolute minimal. And the critical thing is, I need to maintain the speed. I'm trying to get that wrist, and as, as I play them, when I set up my left wrist is quite cupped, and this decal of the manufacturer's signs on the left-hand side, and it's pointing skyward. I'm gonna try and get that club back in there really quickly. So quickly, I'm gonna set up towards the pin, pretty straight. Shaft's quite vertical, ball's on my left foot. I'm going to really maintain the loft this side and release the club quite quickly under the ball. There we go, so I'm happy with that. Like anything else you need to work at it, you've got to practice it, but if you stick to simple principles, good setup position, consistent, consistent face, lots of speed, keeping the balance stabilised, you'll hit lots of nice shots. Enjoy the golf better. Common to Lynx Golf, the ubiquitous greenside pot bunker. Steep, unpleasant, beautifully revetted here at Trump International. And we've got a nasty little plug lie. Bit of a tricky one because we just want the ball to pop out. I don't have the ball to go very far, I just want to get it out. Now typically a long plug bunker shot, you close the face, hit it very, very hard, full finish, and that tends to chase the ball. No good because they haven't got the loft with that type of shot and it's going to run. So we're going to do something a wee bit different here. Similar setup, balance wise, quite aggressive into my left foot. Ball on the left heel as, as ever, but I'm going to lower my hands and sit down a wee bit. The idea of lowering the hands is that they cock faster, they set up faster. And I want to drive the club head down hard onto the ball. So I'm going to set the club quite vertically, quite quickly on its end keep lots of balance in the left foot. I'm just going to pop hard down and stop on impact. She goes. So it just pops it with it. Doesn't, doesn't put backspin on it, but it doesn't release it too fast. It just has the energy to pop up out these deep bunkers. Short-sided, at least it's another sort of string to your bow, something to do, something to help the scoring.